<laughs> okay, final observation, prediction. Uh, in December in Geneva, the UNHCR, United Nations High Commission for Refugees, will be celebrating 60 years of the signing of the Convention on Refugees, the International Treaty. Uh, will Australia be sending our Immigration Minister and what will we be boasting about? Good question. <laughs> yes, well, I, I thought one of the uh, un, unkinder comparisons uh, during the week was uh, to say that Wayne Swan winning the Euro Money Award was a bit like uh, Stephen Bradbury winning an Olympic gold. And I think that was unkind for both of them. Uh, the funny thing is, though, that, that uh, Stephen Bradbury is a constituent of Wayne Swan's. They know each other and they're good mates. And Stephen Bradbury did make the final. He did. Of and, an Olympic and, event. And, and Wayne Swan got to become not just Treasurer but Deputy Prime Minister. Yeah. In, Aus in Australia last month, Thomas Needs, who was Hillary Clinton's deputy at the State Department, made it very clear that the, U that the Obama administration has no intention of implementing climate change legislation. In New Zealand last week, the Conservative government delayed the implementation of an emissions trading scheme and completely junked it for agriculture. Canada is going with the, with the United States. I mean, there's a clear lesson here for Australia. Our, our, our trading partners are not going with this. OK, and we'll leave you now with an anti-poverty event in Canberra this week. And with the global economy going down the toilet, they certainly found the right symbol. Thanks for watching.